so we've already discussed the criteria for optical activity now let's start with the following example so what actually is optical isomerism optical isomerism uh, or optical isomers rather let us see first optical isomers are those first important thing <coughs> they maintain isomers means two units like one the other same molecular formula different structural arrangement so isomers optical isomers are those which maintain mirror image relationship and after this most important the mirror images are non superimposable that is important okay i'll explain what it is mirror image uh, relationship and are non superimposable that such are called optical isomers isomers so what is optical activity if i have to define optical activity is the phenomena the property of this particular compound so the property of an optically this compound now we call it as optically active isn't it the property of an optically active compound which rotates the plane polarized light plane polarized light towards the right or clockwise or towards left uh, is called optical activity done okay i have written such a big sentence let us take an example and understand suppose in the exam they give you this example right so let's start <clears throat> first important copy the example they have given me first one co en taken twice cl2 and plus so first important thing you have to draw the mirror image then you have to show which is cis and trans also in that you have to be careful in this because geometrical isomers uh, because trans will not show optical activity so careful in showing both take that co in the center now count how many are there <coughs> this is ethylene diamine what did i say one ethylene diamine is having two donor sites one here and one here two so two ethylene diamines will have two so total number four so first so four plus two six the coordination number here is six let's start draw the structure one two three four five six okay this is dotted lines you can keep so start from here cl now observe one chlorine one chlorine now ethylene diamines are two join this as en instead of writing everything you can join this as en join this as en you can also write n here here n nitrogen nitrogen because this nitrogen is here isn't it n you can write that also n and n n right and you can join these one two three four like this so how to join suppose if i'm making these bonds larger like this okay i'm making this one let's see this is joined here this is joined here these two are joined here this is joined here done this is en now i have to draw the mirror image now this is which isomer this is a cis isomer because both are on the similar side now if i have to draw the mirror image you can either draw it like this you can draw it like this or if you are don't have time you are writing the answer at the end you can make the mirror image like this also not a problem so if you do, lack of time you are quickly answering this question you can draw the mirror image like this also so exactly the same draw co here these two groups will be here because when you see your mirror isn't it image on the mirror exactly the opposite so cl will come here again first draw 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 done the so the cl mirror image is here now observe these two mirror images here exactly here and on this side you have en and here this is cl yeah if you want to draw nitrogen here nitrogen nitrogen and nitrogen simple just just join them you have this 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 particular thing you make it a bit bigger and this is joining here 
this nitrogen this nitrogen this nitrogen and this nitrogen right so you can join it like this so these two are mirror images exactly opposite to this exactly opposite to this cl is above en is here that's okay both are mirror images now important thing is suppose if i draw the trans isomer of this now are these two optically active yes because it is rotating the plane polarized light towards right look here this is going in this direction so dextro rotatory now here what happened it is rotating in this direction levo rotatory dextro rotatory form dextro form and levo form done so cis isomer is always <coughs> cis is optically active optically active right let us draw transform now when i have to draw the transform the same thing cis trans should be opposite co one two three four five six now one chlorine here one chlorine here one en here one en here now see here <laughs> this is again i said nitrogen 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 you can make so this compound <laughs> as i said what did i say is it optically active no isn't it why it has two similar groups like this so this compound now it's looking what like is it a chiral carbon a chiral carbon but basically when you see the adjustment b and b i took in the earlier uh, introduction a b c d one more i took a b c b so this is optically optically inactive this is your first example let's come back and do the next example 